Hey, friends, welcome back to another episode of Thriving Thoughts. I'm your host, Dr. Sherry. By now, you know that this season of Thriving Thoughts is dedicated to sharing with you how women that I've had the privilege of connecting with are thriving in the thick of something. I'm dedicating this episode to sharing with you, one, how I connect with the women that I bring to you through this podcast, and two, how I support them and how I invite you to support them as well. Why is this important for you to know? Well, I need you to know why I choose the women I choose to be on the show, why I bring their specific message to you, and why I've done that since day one. You see, I don't believe I have ever quite articulated my why for this podcast. I've articulated the message and the concept behind it, but why I chose this medium, why did I choose the medium of a podcast to share this message of thriving in any and every circumstance with you. Well, let me tell you a little story, and it dates back to when I first decided to launch a podcast. When I left the field of clinical psychology and decided to take the show on the road to reach as many people as possible with this message that there's nothing wrong with you, that you don't need to be diagnosed to get what you want in life, to feel fulfilled. There, It's not about looking for something that's wrong with you. It's about identifying what's right with you. And it's about being able to connect with other people who are going through similar experiences. I knew that I needed a stage, a platform to share this message in a way that would allow people to receive it without feeling like, you know, it was coming from a shrink, without feeling like there was something wrong with them, in a way that they could connect with other people who are going through similar experiences and in a way that they could apply it. So back in October of 2018, I started a weekly live Facebook video series called Off the Couch, where me, Dr. Sherry, came on the show every week and shared with you something about what it looks like to have a thriving thought world, something about this normalizing experience of our humanity so that we could connect and engage. Well, that was wildly popular. I had regular people checking in every week to hear this message, and it was giving people a platform to engage, right, through comments, and to see that there were other people who were interested in these topics and that it was not only okay, but that it was beneficial. And then I heard about this thing called Instagram and how so many people were on it, and it was a great way to reach additional people with my message. So I launched my Instagram account in January of 2019, and immediately I began to connect with new people. And I was opened up to this world of social media as advantageous, as not just a stage or a platform, but an opportunity to really connect. I mean, I think that's what social media was originally intended for. So I started to connect with women who I would have never met otherwise, and who were responding to my message, who also had a message of their own to share, who had like minds in the way that they knew it was possible to thrive in any and every circumstance. So within a month of beginning to engage and extend, expand my network, I decided, you know what, there's a really cool opportunity here for me to share other women, their perspectives, how their perspectives align with this message, but also That would allow me to reach even more people because each of those women had a following of their own. And alas, the idea for Thriving Thoughts, the podcast, was born. Here's a platform that could share other women's wisdom that aligned with my message and reach even more people. That was the idea, after all, from leaving my clinical psychology practice where I was only reaching one person every hour. So I was super excited. I ordered all of my podcasting equipment and then wah, wah, I got the box and I just felt a very clear message from God. That's what it was for me, folks, that I was not to open that box, that I was to leave that box unopened in the dining area of my home until it was time. And so that's what I did. I had this idea in the back of my head, but I left it because it was clearly not the time then. One day, not until June, so we're talking six months later, folks, six months later, I was walking past that box and I just knew it was time. 
it was time to open that box. So I opened the box, got everything out, figured how it worked. And guess what? I knew nothing about podcasting. I just knew I had this heart to reach people all over the world. And something you should know about me, if you don't already, is that I am a gifted learner. I love to learn. I thrive on it. It just brings me great joy because then I get to learn and I get to swirl stuff around in my head and then I get to share it with you guys. So I knew it wasn't going to be a problem for me to learn how to podcast, but in June, I knew nothing. But what I did know about myself is that I'm not very disciplined and I need some accountability. So I made a social media announcement and said, hey, folks, I'm launching Thriving Thoughts Podcast on August 5th of 2019. So guess what? Then my feet were to the fire. I was like, I have to do this. People are waiting on me. I've built this following now. I've built not a following. That's a weird word, but I've built a community. That's a better word. I've built a community of like-minded people, of women specifically who want to hear more of my message. And so I owe this to them. So I became accountable to you. You are the them. So here I was with a commitment to launch this podcast on August 5th. And I was just at the beginning of my learning curve with the podcast. And I didn't have a single guest lined up. So you know what I did? I started with the women that I knew. I started with the women who were already in my circle. And that handful of women close to me that I'm forever grateful for, for helping me to start off this podcast, they eventually introduced me to other women, not just across the state, not just across the region, not across the nation, but across the world. They started introducing me to other women. And I got to tell you, it was mind blowing to see this network just blowing up the way that it was that I was privileged and honored to meet these women and share their stories with you. If you haven't listened to season one or season two, I implore you to go back and take a listen because every single message is unique. Every single woman has a heart and a message that I would love for you to hear. So it was very early on in the podcast that I realized, you know what, I don't need to go advertise for Uh, people to come on the show, I can go about this very organically. And so I made a commitment very early on in season one that every one of my podcast guests would be a direct connection from somebody who I interviewed already that they would introduce me to the next person. And that has just trickled down like an abundant waterfall and an abundant waterfall of thriving successful, powerful, look powerful in the way that they own who they are. These women are gems. They're a godsend in my book. And I do consider each and every one of them friends. Just as each of my podcast guests has been a blessing to me in connecting me with even more amazing people, I've been able to return that blessing and connect them with my tribe, with my people. And my tribe just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And you, yes, you listener, you are a part of that tribe, even if I don't know your name. When it came time for me to launch season three recently on August 5th, the one year anniversary, as it turns out, of this Thriving Thoughts podcast, I wanted to up the ante. I wanted to reach even more women that I didn't know. And I wanted to support them in a new way, not just connecting them with people, not just giving them a platform, a microphone and listeners to share their message with. But I also wanted to support women in their endeavors. So if that's a home-based business, a mega business, a book that they're writing, a movement that they're starting, a vision that they have, I wanted this podcast that has an established base of listeners. That's you again to serve as a medium for them to reach more people, to further their mission, right? Not just to further the listenership of this podcast, but to be able to support them because that is what we do. That is what we do. Women support women. And that's what I wanted this podcast to be an example of. So this season, yes, you will hear women sharing their very personal stories as always, but you're going to be hearing them share while they're in the middle of something. And I think that's so powerful. And so because that bar has been raised in such a way, I want to highlight the efforts that they are making, the mountains that they are moving, the things that they are achieving. And I want to do that in a way that provides you, my faithful listeners, with special offers. So yes, in season three, not only will you gain valuable wisdom and insight from the guests who are choosing to be vulnerable and brave in sharing how they are choosing to thrive in the thick of something, but I'm bringing you special offers. 
to support those women, to support their businesses, their movements, their books, their groups on Facebook, whatever it is they want me to support. I'm making a space to share that with you. Not every offer will matter to you. Not every offer will resonate with you, but it's my obligation to bring them to you. It's my obligation to offer you those gifts. So my podcast guests this season are sharing special offers. So yeah, you will see many offers, many opportunities coming your way this season, which is a new addition to season three. And I sure hope that you take advantage of that. This is your opportunity to support the women who are brave enough to come on the show and share their hearts with you to encourage your heart. I rely on you, the listener, to make this podcast successful, to get it in front of the ears of other people who need to hear the encouraging, thriving messages that we share each week and now in season three, twice a week. So I look to you for feedback. I look to add value to you. And in order to do that, I would love to hear from you. I want to hear what are your ideas? Who do you want to have on the show? What topic do you want to hear about? Is it divorce? Is it addiction? Is it caring for elderly parents? Um, Raising young children? Having teenage kids? Dealing with cancer? What, What is it that you want to hear about? how people are choosing to thrive in the thick of. Will you shoot me an email at drsherryspeaks at gmail.com or message me on Facebook or Instagram. The links are in the show notes. It's my desire to bring even more value to you with each and every episode. So share your feedback. Share this episode with a friend who wants to know my why about the Thriving Thoughts podcast and how I choose the women that I choose. And if you know a woman that I've got to interview because she is doing a bang up job of thriving in the thick of something, I'd love an introduction. Again, just email or connect with me on social media. Until next Sunday, my friends, remember to speak truth over the lies so you can thrive in any and